If you were hoping for a break from the heat and humidity this weekend, I got some bad news for you because it doesn't look like it's coming. It's just unfortunately going to stay very hot and humid in the coming days, especially tomorrow. It's going to be again one of those extremely humid days where just as soon as you step outside, you're almost sweating. That's how humid it's going to be, which will eventually lead to a few showers like we're seeing out there tonight. And again, tomorrow afternoon into the evening, there is a little bit of relief by the time we get into next week as it does look like the humidity levels will be coming down just a smidge, making it feel just a touch better. But as that humidity comes down, our actual temperatures are actually going to come up. So really, you're not going to see much of a difference as feel like temperatures will just continue to be in the triple digits. So just expect that typical summer like weather to carry on over the next seven to 10 days. Here's a live look over the capital city. It's been a fairly nice summer evening and just a little bit on the warm and sticky side. Just got some of those high level clouds kind of working over the top. But here in the capital city, we have stayed dry. Temperatures at 84 degrees, but you can see that dew point of 75 just makes it feel very muggy out there. So even as we push late into the evening, still feels like the lower 90s as you step outside. Satellite and radar does show we've had some showers and thunderstorms once again kind of fire up across portions of the Midlands, mainly across portions of Fairfield County over into Kershaw and down into portions of Lee County. But you can see also one or two maybe blimps starting to show up here in Richland County. But these are your typical showers that just bubble up and then are raining themselves out. But Lake Watery is really getting hit with the heaviest little brief, uh, shower right now. Winsboro also getting a little bit. And as you get back towards Chapin, you can see a little bit of some activity beginning to develop. And then as you get over towards the Kershaw area, we also got some light to moderate showers falling. All this kind of slowly drifting off to the east. We also got some showers developing to our south. So Manning, you can see some thunder and lightning developing with that cell. So you're probably hearing that summer tent, seeing some rain moving through and towards the Lone Star area. We have a few little blimps showing up, trying to work their way towards Sumter. So we'll watch for a few of these showers this evening, but eventually this activity will be fading and dying out as we stay warm and sticky with lows getting down to about 75. So we'll start off in the mid to upper 70s tomorrow morning, 84 by 10 o'clock, already into the 90s by 1 o'clock. Should get into the low 90s with those feel like temperatures in the triple digits. And then you can see later on to the day that 30% chance for some isolated showers. So satellite and radar clearing us out through the rest of tonight. Tomorrow afternoon even looks fairly dry. The rain tomorrow really doesn't get here until late in the evening. So around 10 o'clock, we have this line of showers and storms that looks to try to develop. And then as it moves in, it'll be moving in around 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. So this could be kind of an overnight event as that rain moves through and then it clears out. And we're looking at fairly dry weather, just a few stray showers come Sunday afternoon. So your first alert 10 day forecast again keeps us hot and humid this weekend with that slight chance for some showers, then drying out and really heating up next week with highs into the mid to upper 90s, especially by Friday with highs approaching 98 degrees.